Here is an example on relative velocity. The question reads as a train 110 meter long is traveling at 60 kilometers per hour and in what time will it cross a cyclist moving at 6 kilometer per hour traveling in the same direction traveling in the opposite direction. Let us take it up. The key idea is to use the relative velocity, let us have a detailed discussion. So, this is a train and the train is moving along this direction at 60 kilometer per hour and there is a cyclist, cyclist in the first case he is moving, it is a cyclist, the cyclist is moving along the same direction at 6 kilometer per hour. The question is what is the time taken and in the second case it is moving in the opposite direction. This is 110 meter long. Now, let us consider this one. In the first case, the velocity of the train with respect to cyclist, velocity of the train that is relative velocity of the train with respect to cyclist is equal to velocity of the train minus velocity of the cyclist. Velocity of the train is 60, velocity of the cyclist observe that both are moving along the same direction. So, both the velocities must have the same sign 60 minus 6 that is 54 kilometer per hour that is 54 into 5 by 18 meter per second that is 15 meter per second. This is the velocity of the train with respect to cyclist. So, I write the time taken is relative distance divided by relative velocity. Time taken is equal to relative distance by relative velocity just like distance by velocity in terms of relative values this is the idea. Now, what is the distance the cyclist is going to cover with respect to the train? It is 110 meter, he should cross the train that means relative distance he covers is 110 meter, relative velocity is 15, relative velocity of the train is 15. So, this is nothing but 110 divided by 15 7.33 seconds. Let us take up the second case. In the second case, what do we have? Same train 110 meter long and this train is moving along this direction at 60 kilometer per hour, but the cyclist this time is moving along the opposite direction at the same speed 6 kilometer per hour. So, this time what is the relative velocity of the train with respect to cyclist that is V t minus V c. V t is 60 towards right it is positive minus look at this V c velocity of the cyclist is minus 6 this time. Why is it minus 6? Because he himself is moving in the opposite direction. So, this becomes 66 kilometer per hour that is 66 into 5 by 18 meter per second right 66 into 5 by 18. So, let me just retain it in this form probably calculation becomes easier if you retain it here. Now, time taken is equal to same rule relative distance divided by relative velocity. What is relative distance 110? What is relative velocity? <coughs> 66 into 5 by 18. So, we can simplify this further and upon simplification it becomes 6 seconds. So, observe how the problem is solved, it is easy. The only idea you use is time taken is relative distance by relative velocity. Relative velocities add up. 
when the particles are relative velocity is obtained by adding the individual velocities when the particles are moving in the opposite direction.